Here now with the man who is the authority source on all things Auburn from Auburn Live, Justin Hokes. And Justin, how we doing, man? Here at SC Media Days. I'm good, man. Uh, we're here. We're done. Yeah. Uh, knock it out in one day. Media Days is crazy, man. Like I, I don't. I'm not a huge fan because it's just talking, and I don't always like talking. I just want <laughs> just show me. I'm a show me guy. Yeah. But I don't know. Every now and then you get some good stuff. It's talking season. Yeah. It's talking, it's talking season. season. And one thing that Hugh Freeze said, or rather didn't say, was his comment rather on Jarquez Hunter what'd you yeah. make of that yeah interesting so Jarquez Hunter we've talked about it a little bit there's an investigation going on with the university he was asked about what his status was and basically basically uh, Freeze just said I can't comment on university policies and procedures that yeah. was it there was a follow-up question that was asked to him when we got went local guys got to talk to him and he said uh, about hey are there any other players involved mm -hmm. and he just repeated the same answer so hmm. a kind of a non-answer we told our board at Auburn Live I've been hearing that he should be available August 1 to practice. Hmm. So I think that's the case. I think it just until that point happens, he gave that answer. So I don't know that that answer is any more concerning than it was, but we'll find out here in a couple weeks. Probably not trying to make a headline or, or lean too far any other yeah. way. So, I mean, that makes sense to, to a degree at SC Media Days to, to yeah. answer it and that And when way. you're talking about university policies and invest internal investigations going on, until they put out a release, you don't say a word. Makes yeah. sense. But talking about football, he made some comments about his play calling at Liberty. He talked about kind of maybe not being on his game as much as he would have liked to. Yeah, yeah. What did you make of that and where he stands right now with Auburn in 23? Yeah, I thought that was a pretty transparent comment um, when he was asked about who's calling plays. It's kind of the same thing that Jimbo Fisher and Bobby Petrino are getting asked about, or Fisher's getting asked yeah. about, right? Um, and so he Freeze was asked about who's calling plays. And he said, look, I hired Philip Montgomery to call plays, period. Mm. But he kind of had a transparent comment saying, hey, I, I used to think I was one of the better play callers in college football. He goes, but lately, kind of talking about his time at Liberty, he goes, I feel like I, I wasn't quite on my game as much, which you don't always hear a coach say. You certainly wouldn't have heard the last Auburn coach say that. Yeah. Um, and so it, he was basically just saying, Philip's calling the plays, uh, but, I'm, but I'm there. Yeah. If, if something comes up. If I feel like I've got a vibe on what needs to be called or what's going on, I'm there. There's a lot of people that will have input. But he, but he made it very clear, Philip Montgomery is the play caller. That's his challenge. Mm -hmm. But, of course, Hugh Freeze is saying, look, I, I've got the history in the background and I'm there. But, but yeah, I thought the, the comment about not being quite on his game was just a really honest and transparent thing to say. Which, honestly, it's, it's funny we mentioned A&M. And not to dunk on Texas A&M, but the situations are, are so different in the sense that you have Philip Montgomery and Hugh Freeze – it sounds like kind of in harmony working towards something where I don't know what's going on internally at Texas A&M, but you don't get a real harmonious feel when, when Jimbo Fisher's answering questions about Mike no, Petrino. It feels no. like you got two hands kind of maybe yanking different directions on the wheel. I don't know. It was interesting to hear that about Hugh Freeze, though. I was yeah. appreciative of his transparency there as well. Yeah, I think his I think his I think his background has humbled him a little bit to give to give that answer. Absolutely. That well, sense. the last thing that I want to talk about with you, he talked about alignment and where maybe that's being used on the recruiting trail against them or not. I mean, what would you make of that comment and maybe just what he said as a whole? Yeah, we, we, we spoke to him, and, 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 and I don't know that he said this on the podium. The guys that cover Auburn got a chance to speak to him outside of the podium. I don't know if it was asked on the podium, but he was asked when we were speaking to him, we said, what's the, what's the biggest surprise since you've arrived at Auburn? Like, what's just caught you, you know, the, what's, what's resonated the most? And he said, you know, he goes, look, I don't want to really get negative. He said, but the roster, the state of the roster was probably one of the most surprising things. He goes, it's just not where Auburn should be yeah. in terms of a roster. And then in the same vein in that answer, he said, recruiting's been more challenging than I thought. And he kind of alluded to, you know, maybe a perception of Auburn before he got there. Hmm. Or maybe some things that happened on the recruiting trail or uh, that, that, that aren't happening now like in a negative recruiting sense. Um, and one of the things he talked about was he said they had gotten asked, some, some people had said to them, hey, you guys don't seem like maybe you're that aligned. Hmm. And he was like, we just got here. We, he, <laughs> you know, we, we couldn't be more aligned. He's like, we have a new president who hired a new AD who hired me. Yeah. He goes, we couldn't be more aligned. So he addressed the alignment thing, but he also seemed to say there's been some maybe some, some things they've had to battle recruiting that, that maybe he didn't anticipate. 
Um, and so I thought that was interesting because you figure you were, him and they'd roll in and start, and they've done well in recruiting, mm. but maybe there's still a little bit of a hangover, some still some things lingering from the past couple of years that they're having to address off the field to show that their program is headed in the right direction. It's interesting. It's like the only way we could potentially not be aligned is if there was issues on the field. And as far as I know, Hugh Freeze currently undefeated at Auburn. Yeah, he's undefeated. Never lost a game. Never lost a game. So all exactly signs pointing in the right yeah. direction. Yeah. Good deal. Well, that's Justin Hokinson over at Auburn Live. Get you a subscription. Follow Justin on Twitter. All the phenomenal work he's doing for us here at On3 and for all the uh, elite work he's putting out in the Auburn market. Justin, thanks so much, man. Enjoy the rest of media day. Anytime, man. See ya. Auburn fans, if you like that video, go get a membership over at Auburn Live. Going to keep you in the know for all things revolving around your Tigers. Also, subscribe right here to the On3 Roundtable YouTube channel.